all of us are all too aware of uh, the problems of school shootings. And in every one of those cases, there were warning signs. There were things that other people were aware of. Either direct threats were made or unusual things were written for school projects that talked about school shootings. But whatever the actual warning signs, people intuitively knew that the person was being pushed too far. And it doesn't mean you have to think, oh, that kid's going to bring a gun to school. You just have to think, that kid's suffering. Because the universal warning sign for explosive violence is suffering. It is being unhappy, it's being miserable, and uh, it's feeling alienated. And that universal warning sign always calls for some kind of intervention, some kind of help. And I can tell you that throughout my whole career, all the people I've interviewed who thought about doing violence or thought about doing suicide and didn't will have a story of someone's kindness that the, the kind person thought uh, was minor. Uh, and yet it was hugely important to the person who was suffering. And so when we see someone who is suffering, who's miserable, who feels alienated, a single word from a popular kid or a single word from somebody who hasn't been my friend to this point of kindness or of acceptance or of recognition or of asking how I'm doing, uh, how far that goes, how much that helps, and uh, how you don't feel alone, alienated which is really the key thing that we're trying to improve, people not feeling alienated.